What's up everybody? This is Motor Mert coming to you from beautiful, sunny Southern California on Christmas Eve. You n would never know that it was Christmas Eve, judging by the weather. It's sunny and in the mid-70s, but it is Christmas Eve. Believe it or not. Uh, just doing a little Christmas shopping for myself. I stopped by here at the brewery in, I believe this is still technically Placentia. I just think of it as Orange County General, but this place is awesome. They do a lot of uh, barrel-aged beers here. They do a lot of strong ales. They do a lot of sour ales. They're actually opening a satellite brewery dedicated strictly to sour ales called Brewery Tarot. And sorry, I don't know the proper way to pronounce that. I think, believe it is French. Uh, but anyway, uh, stopped by here today to pick up a few limited releases that they don't often offer to the public. Uh, one of them is an older release uh, from what they call their archives. It's called Melange Number no. 1. It is a delicious blended ale, actually, composed of an... Uh, what do they call it? It's a, it's a stout and it is, I would call it an imperial stout. It's a heavy, heavy stout, uh, almost 20% ABV bourbon barrel aged stout, which is delicious on its own, but they've blended it with, uh, ugh, bumpy, bumpy. They've blended it with a Flemish style red ale, which is a sour ale. And the combination that you get out of that mix is just absolutely wonderful. I don't know how, to, how else to describe it. I don't think you can get brewery beers outside of California because of stupid American distribution laws for alcohol. But if you ever do get the chance to try uh, some of breweries, the breweries, ales, I, I highly recommend it. I think it's my number one favorite brewery. And I'm a big time beer drinker, so... Uh, you know, I mean, my opinion is only worth what my opinion is worth, but to me, uh, it's, yeah, they're pretty much one of the best breweries in the world. Uh, in addition to the Melange number no. 1, I also picked up the Five Golden Rings on Bourbon Barrels as well. And the Five Golden Rings is part of their Christmas series. I don't want to sit at a red light, so I'm not going to turn here after all. It's part of their Christmas series. And the Christmas series is uh, sort of constructed around the 12 Nights of Christmas song. You know, on the first night of Christmas, my etc. etc. So Five Golden Rings is the fifth iteration in the series. It's a Belgian golden ale mixed with uh, pineapple and Christmas spices. So I'm excited to try that out. I liked the Five Golden Rings on its own but now they have barrel aged it so I'm looking forward to seeing how that turned out and as you can probably see the other stop oh so that's it for the beer and as you can see the other stop that I made today on my Christmas shopping list for myself was to pick this up it's a laminar lip wind spoiler which is an attachment to your existing windscreen and is meant to sort of act as an inverted airfoil and draw the wind up out of, you know, away and over you. So it does more than just block the wind. It takes the flow of air that's coming up your windscreen and it uses an airfoil effect to bend it up over you even more. So over and above the wind that's actually being physically deflected by the physical windscreen itself, it's using some uh, air effects to actually guide the air over you even more than it normally would be. And I must say that I am in love with it already. I've only had it on the bike for, I don't even know, probably about 10 miles, but it's absolutely wonderful. It really keeps the wind off of you. I'm a really tall guy and I've struggled with finding a solution to keeping the, the wind off of my body when I ride. Uh, you know, I've gotten into doing a lot more touring recently, and I'm looking into buying a more touring-appropriate bike. But for now, I've got this sport bike, my Ninja 650, and, you know, windscreen options are pretty limited for sport bikes. I've got the zero-gravity touring, sport touring windshield on here already, but being 6'4", you know, this is really not quite enough. So I looked into additional options, found a company called Laminar uh, 
I forget the full name of the company, but the product is called the Laminar Lip, and I, I absolutely love it. Keeps the wind off me. Like, it makes things quieter in my helmet. It's all, it's very nice. The only complaint I have, and this is not a complaint with the lip, it's more a complaint of the zero gravity windscreen. Uh, this zero gravity windscreen is made out of pretty thin plastic. They kind of skimped on the plastic, so it's very flexible. And with the added leverage that this lip gives to the whole windscreen setup, it kind of wobbles a lot on the freeway. Which is not a huge deal. Uh, it's a bit unnerving at first, but you know, I'm already kind of used to it. I don't even notice it when I ride anymore. Uh, but if you are sensitive to that sort of thing, then it's something to be aware of. Uh, that Again, that's a problem with the zero gravity windscreen, not with the lip itself. The lip is sturdy as sh hell. A really thick, sturdy piece of plastic, which I like. I think that's good. Uh, so anyway, I'm really happy with that. And uh, the third stop that I wanted to make was to go and pick up a book that I've been wanting to read. It's part of Brandon Sanderson's new, uh, well, I guess it's not new anymore, but Brandon Sanderson's working on a series that is near and dear to his heart it's called the Stormlight Archives and uh, anyway I decided not to go out of my way to pick that up today although I will still be picking it up uh, it's just that today I'm on sort of a uh, time schedule so I don't have time to go and pick it up turns out the only bookstore that actually has a copy is well out of my way, probably another 10 miles out of my way, so that's 20 additional miles on the round trip, so anyways, I'm not going to go hunting that down today, but I look forward to getting it eventually. So anyway, uh, that's all I've got for you guys uh, today on Christmas Eve. Uh, I hope you guys have a happy holiday, whatever sort of holiday you celebrate, or if you're not religious, then uh, just enjoy the break. Have a nice uh, week and and a nice uh, Thursday off, I guess. <laughs> Unless you have to work on Christmas, in which case I f truly feel terrible for you. All right, later.